The depth of Tasman Marcos Rugby is continuing to be tested as injury plagues this once great side this season. Can they keep up with the top four and can they match their fellow Ranfurly Shield winning sides this season, Southland, and keep their spot up near the top of the table? Hello everyone and welcome along to Complex Crib, your home of rugby challenge two and the ITM Cup with the Tasman Marcos alongside the Southland Stags this season. But today is Tasman and they're up against Otago in this must win, super important match for the Marcos. Here is their sign and has had a few more change ups in the back line as suggested by you guys. The likes of Marshall has moved his way in to fly half outside Cowan. And in the backs, it'll be Wells and Fonatia in the centres, and Malnick will make his way back to fullback. So, interesting times, interesting changes, but it is the departure of Scott for this week after proving he's very, very adequate player at this level. So, depth is still there for Tasman, but the shuffles will still give them the jitters in these matches. Now, Tasman need to keep winning here. They've fallen behind Southland, and they sit fourth. If they win today, it will put them right up there in third and challenging for those top spots. Trying to stop them will be Otago, who's fielding a very similar side to what come out against Southland a few weeks ago. They are 11th on the table overall, and their last couple results were a 21-17 over Taranaki. That was a win. And the last week was a 28-15 loss to Hawke's Bay. They have a two-win, one draw, and three-loss record. But this week, they have the addition of Ben Smith. Now, here's a fullback captaining the side and will be a huge addition just mentally for this Otago team. If they're to lift here and beat Tasman, it will be massive for them to come up from 11th. But it is all to play for. Otago, Tasman, ITM Cup, kickoff. About to get underway, let's get down to the action. Otago will kick off. Hayden Parker. Any Highlanders fans will know this man. Very, very good first five in Otago colours as we are underway. Round seven of the ITM Cup and it's Christie who's picked it up and Marshall with his first touch and fly half. Wheeler, Wells, first touch to him and he's got space for Funatia. He's kicked long and he gives chase. But Ben Smith is waiting, waiting at the back. Oh, he's knocked on. What a mistake from Otago. It's there and waiting for Tasman. They get it back. They've got advantage. Fonatea. Hola Nuka Nuka. Opens it up for Marshall. He's all out there on his left. Oh, brilliant tackle from Ben Smith. Tasman could have opened it up right there. But Ben Smith has saved the day. Oh, big shot there. Lowe's picked up the ball. And Hayden Parker has been hammered as the defence come through and took him out. Ellie goes away this time, finds Collins, Release. who's been smashed. Tasman won the ball. They're so close to the line. Yuani goes himself, pops it in, feel nicely, and he's broken it. Suckling gets the kick away, and Melnick has some chasing to do as back comes Heem to help out. And Heem's going a bit backwards, but he's found Wheeler. Not a bad option. This is Marshall. Goes straight through the middle. He swats away one tackle and goes up to halfway. But Otago have numbers again to the breakdown. And all oh, turn it over. And Sayuli gets hammered. High tackle for the big prop. And that will slow this game down after Tasman has kicked us off at a frantic pace. Hayden Parker. Well, he's lining this one up just over halfway. 52, 53 metres. Now he can get them from here. He's got a big, big boot on him. Could this give Otago the lead? Here it comes. Looks all right. Straight, but it's short. Malnick looks to kick. Changes his mind. Finds a ball to Wells. Wells to Marshall. Oh, Marshall couldn't free it up. He had a man waiting. James Lowe. Oh, right there, and he's lost the ball. Back it comes now. Anderson Heller. Nice. Takes a tackle for Otago. And they look like they might lose it. Tasman are digging deep and they get it back. Here's Cowan. Short ball to Marshall. Misses out. Goes to Perry. Perry's in open spaces. Finds Fonatea. Desperate tackle from Uani. Kavabati up to Wells. Wells has still him. Oh, he passed too early. 
and it's going back now. Hala Nukanuka into Sir Paul, and it's back there from Sueli, who started it all with the high tackle. So Otago survived that break just. Now they look wide, Walden finds support for Suckling, and Suckling knocks on now. Malnick runs from deep, Kalamatangi, Squire, Funatia. This game is just never going to end as Heem, Heem goes through, Heem kicks ahead, his advantage is over, diving, he's got it! Bryce Heem scores for Tasman. The delicate little grubber was the undoing of Otago. We've seen Marshall try to take on Ben Smith, but he is a world-class fullback, we know that. He couldn't gather up that ball. And all of the Otago players trying to jump on that. Allen was the last one, couldn't manage it. Bryce Heem, good try. Great work. There it was, so close. Allen tried to keep him out, couldn't do it. And Heem scores. This is an area of concern here for Tasman, though. The goal kicking. Without... The likes of Banks. Kicks like this could be very difficult. Wind strongly against Marshall. He steps up. Oh, that is a great nudge. Oh, super nudge from Marshall. I think he's got it. He has. Fantastic work. Marshall adds the extras. And any thoughts of troublesome goal kicking fly out the window. Parker. We'll get us back underway. 26 gone. He goes deep down to Marshall, who finds Melnick running deep, and he goes straight into the tackle of Parker. And they'll drive on him with Perry and Kalama Tungi. Having a few extra yards there. Back it goes for Wells, and he's noticed that there's no one back here for Otago. Eventually, Ben Smith does find his way back, and Melnick chases. No one's home for for Tasman. The ball might be left alone. It's gone dead. Oh, fantastic work from Tasman. Ben Smith put one up to test them. And they have let it run dead, which is a great advantage Crouch. for the Marcos. Touch. Up over halfway. Set. Good work. A poor chase from Otago. Cowan feeds a scrum. And it's a good one too. Otago would probably consider themselves an advantage to get rid of this ball, but they've not. Squire runs with it, gives it to Wells. Marshall doubling around for Natia. Here we go. James Lowe looks in field, puts a grubber in. Oh, he's been taken out. And back goes Parker just to get hammered. Big tackle Please. on Parker. Diving in there. Kalama Tungi can't keep it for Tasman. And it will come back there for Ely. And he goes all oh, backwards Please. after a good start. He finds himself right on his own line again. Now it finds his way back to Parker and Lowe scores! Big try for Tasman! Well, this rush defense is proving too much for Otago. James Lowe scores. Parker makes a mistake. They just couldn't get out of their goal line. There was Ely's run. And it was a pass back from O'Connor. Oh, massive shot cover, Barty. Pretty sure it was Kevin Barty there. Yeah, surely it was. Have another look. There's the run. That definitely was. Great defense has led to a try for Tasman. James Lowe, he's a speedster. But he got it done with his presence and his well, know-how and ability to be in the right place. Here's Marshall's second shot, right on half time, and it is a ripper. And another two, Tasman are looking good here, 14-0 over Otago, and they're on track possibly for a bonus point here in the second half. A good half of rugby from Tasman, they've found some players... They've found some ability and they're starting to learn how to play with each other as well. 72% of possession, that will do them a world of confidence. 67% of territory, 
goes along with that very nicely as well. 14 nil penalties, just the one going against Tasman, the scrum as well, and Tasman have made a couple of extra kicks to boot, but it is line breaks down the bottom, 6 to 2. Otago haven't managed much in attack, and their defence is shaky, and their clearance kicks even more so. 14 nil Tasman on track here. Can they find another couple of tries in the second half? Or will Otago find their way back in the game? They trail by 14. The second half is coming right up here in the ITM Cup. Tasman over Otago at halftime, 14-0. So Lowe will have the duties to kick this match off in the second half. The win now behind the Tasman Marcos as a kick goes down nicely. O'Connor pulls it in and gives it to Suckling. He's isolated as, and Squire picks it up. Fredericks is on hand. Come on, Barty. Finds Hilanukanuka. Here's a big man. Big run for Matea. Over the top for Heem. Heem and Ben Smith. No, he's got him. Brilliant tackle from Ben Smith. Otago with numbers to the breakdown. And Ben Smith once again saves the day. Here's a short run. Beautiful two from Anderson Heather. But he's finally taken down from Falatea from behind. Drags him over the touchline. Anderson Heather, what a great run there from the hooker. Now will be Fredericks to throw in. And it's just pulled in from Kamambati. Here's Kalama Tangi. Oh, Squire gets a shocker. Low around the corner for Natea. It's two on one. Marshall for the corner. No, he's not. He is short. What a fantastic tackle. Here's a run. Cowan. Cowan's got it. Jimmy Cowan, he is a feisty player. And he is that close to the line. Very hard to stop. Well, the forwards may be a bit aggrieved. They, he didn't get the ball there. But look at this tackle. Eli, Eli. What a fantastic tackle to stop Marshall scoring. And Jimmy Cowan doesn't often run off the back himself. But here it comes. Eli, fantastic work. Oh, I think Marshall was over there. Surely he was. But Jimmy Cowan gets the finishing touch. And he's got himself a try. And he's got Tasman their third as well. Here is Tom Marshall. Well, he's had a couple of chances to score his own, has Marshall. But conspiring against him, it seems, at the moment. Here's a shot at goal. His third kick of the night. Strikes it nicely. Let's the wind hold its line and puts it over. Well, Marty Banks sitting on the touchline. Watching this game and watching the success of Tom Marshall might be starting to be concerned about getting a spot back here. He is still a long way away as Banks. Here's Parker. Gets the game back underway. 51 gone and Christie finds Marshall. And Marshall gets away from 1-2 and feeds Cowan. Perry, Cowan, Barty finds Squire and Squire straightens for being taken down. Another good tackle from Ely. It's there from Kalamatangi. Opens to Cowan, who's a bad pass. Finally, Perry gets away through, and he goes to ground. Tasman, open for chances here. They look to the right. Nice pass. Heem, oh, one on one. Great tackle on Bryce Heem. Halanukanuka finds Wells. Cowan, short passes. Fonatia, now to Lowe. Lowe's going to run, and he can't get away. A good tackle from Suckling. So Otago's defence is holding nicely at the moment as Cowan. Well, Cowan's put a kick in. This isn't a bad one. It's going to hold up. No, it's not. Wells was giving a massive chase, but Cowan's kick just didn't have quite enough angle on it. It goes dead in goal. And Otago, you'd bet your house on it will take the scrum. Crouch. And they will on halfway. Crouch. Early defeat. Set. Fantastic Otago kicks as well. Oh, and Tasman, oh, Tasman reply, and the Targo get one back. Where's this ball going to come out? I have no idea, it's coming to Otago. And they go short side, Suckling is hammered by Cowan, but he's got an infield to Yuani. And Otago's on halfway, ball in hand. 
It's there for Walden. Pops it inside, Ivan outside. Jaya. And it's Ivana And Ivana Jaya runs a set from Wells. And Heen tries to do it all himself. Big numbers against him. And he's gone to ground. Otago looking wide with their defense. Here's Wells. Wells is through. Wells is going to put a kick up. What's this? High tackle Otago, but where was that going? Well, Wells got hammered. I didn't even notice it was a high tackle. The kick looked far too interesting. And Tom Marshall was going to line up another shot at goal. Well, Tasman, I thought, might have gone for the corner. And, well, maybe gone for that fourth try. The bonus point. Not to be. Marshall's going to line up the three. Right out in front. 40 out. Looks good. It's brilliant. Tom Marshall adds three more. It's 24-0. Tasman mounting up the points here against Otago. Well, I'm a bit perplexed about that. Bonus point on offer. 21 up. 21 nil up. I thought they might have gone for the corner. Kalama Tangi. Reels this one in, and now he reels in his back line. Marshall, Perry, nice pass to Wells. Wells offloads beautifully to Fredericks. Pops it up for low. This is fantastic work. Here's Holonukanuka. Finds it in field of Christie. Looks back left. Low, low puts on the speed, and oh, he's just gone into touch. Boy, oh boy, great tackle. See you early. Because low really looked to goose step him on the outside. Sayuli made a great tackle. He could have been gone. Anderson Heather will throw in. He's gone to the back. And it's taken from Franklin. Who was running deep from his line-out spot. Tasman let them drive sideways. Coming near the touchline here, Otago. What are you thinking? Eventually picked up from Bridgehouse. He slips it wide. Here's a chance. And through the middle goes Parker. Through another tackle. Desperate defense. Takes him out and Perry. Finds Marshall. Big ball wide out of the top for Natea. He's desperately in trouble when he's lost the ball again. Brickhouse takes it in for Otago. It's there for Fuatai. And they slip a double round with Parker. Out wide they go. It's there for O'Connor. Numbers to suckling. He pops it back and found for Parker. Just taken down from Fonatea now. Time goes. It's full time. A run from Himopio. Now his numbers out here to left. It's trying for Otago. Surely he is. It is full time. Gets one for Otago. And will deny Tasman the bonus point. The win is still in the bag, but Fuatai scores for Otago. In the dying moments of the game, great pass wide. There was the last one from Collins. And Fuatai, well, he's a great player. Starved of opportunities, especially tonight. Good work. There's the run. Walden, Collins, Fuatai, try time. Well, Tasman will be a bit disappointed here they've not managed to get that bonus point and as a result they will struggle to keep pace here with those top sides here's Parker's conversion to close out the match I think that's just slid on the outside too it has well Parker the genius of a fly half has missed his one attempt Tom Marshall new to the job nails all three four of his and the end of the game. Tasman looked good here. Makeshift backline. They're missing Marty Banks. But boy, they're making do without him. They've beaten the 11th place Otago. And they will sleep frog Southland for at least a week. Handshakes all round. A good match. Otago could not muster up against Tasman. And the end tries for Cowan, Low and Heem. Teeing up three tries, the 24 points coming. Marshall, three from three conversions and a penalty. Still a bit worried about why they went for that penalty and not for touch. But that is, I guess, a win is the more, most important thing for the Tasman side. Bonus points come second. Otago managed one try, full tight. Great try from him. Unconverted from Parker. Well, Tasman dominated this match. Possession, 74%. Territory 54, should have scored more points, one would think. Tackles, look at that. 
66 to 33, giving 99 all up. Two thirds Otago, one third Tasman. Goodness me, percentage teachers eat your heart out with that one. Line breaks 12 to 5. Tasman had plenty of chances. Ben Smith, you can credit the captain for the lack of tries Tasman got. If it was someone else, there would have been tries of plenty for this Marcos team. Five line breaks for Otago, just a one try managed. Will disappoint them, but not good enough on the day. Tasman getting the win 24 5 over Otago. Let's see where this affects the table and what we have to look forward to in our next matchup. So, just the one match since Tasman's 24 5 win over Otago, and that is Taranaki who have gone down at home to County's Manukau Steelers 25 17. And our next matchup is first match of round eight. It is Waikato at home to the Southland Stags. That means no shield challenge for this round, which will please Southland because they made it difficult, did they not, in their last defence, their first defence as well. A look at the table before I go to that, and it is Canterbury at the top on 28, Wellington on 26, Tasman two points adrift on 24, Southland another three points behind on 21. Then we go to the big log jam, 18 for Bay of Plenty. There is Manawatu and Waikato on 17, and Counties Manukau and Auckland on 16, Hawke's Bay. Start to drop away here, 14 and 11 for Otago, who sits still in 11th place. Four losses now for the Otago side. So next up is Southland up against Waikato. So Waikato sitting seventh. Four points to drift the Stags. Could really make things interesting if Waikato can get up for that match. And that will be at Waikato Stadium. First match of round eight. The Southland Stags up against Waikato. And, well, Southland... Plenty to consider, they've been average, winning just, but plenty of options for them with the rest of their squad. And that is my time for today. Thank you all for tuning in to today's match. Hope you enjoyed the action, and I'll be back again soon with plenty more ITM Cup. And until then, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Take care.